Hi there, we are the Nerd Couple. I am husband, this is wife. Hello. A hand, if you join us for the first time, we buy, sell, collect, retro, nerdy, gamey bits, etc. Car boot haul time. Yeah. First car boot for like a month, I think. Yeah. It's summer, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did pretty well. As nice as I had birthday money to spend, and I actually bought stuff. Uh, PS1 games, amazingly. PS4, Wii, some pretty good 360. Steel books, plural. Uh... Brand new things, box sets, and extremely... The, probably the best value things here was a load of 50p DVDs. Mm. Or less than 50p, technically. And K-pop. <laughs> which I know no one will probably care about, but we do. We'll start with the best value in terms of retro. Actual retro. For 50p, Test Drive 4. I know it's not the best game in the world. Well, I don't actually. I haven't played it, but I know it's not supposed to be the best game in the world. But I don't remember any of the Test Drives being great. 50p, cheapest on eBay when I looked earlier quickly, I think was about just over eight. Yeah. I don't she also had a couple of other ones on the table that were a fiver each, which included Worms Armor Geddon and Victory yeah. Boxing, which I'm pretty sure were worth less than this. So dunno. And also music. Way. Which I'm aware is worth bugger all, but it was fifty P. It's complete. It was a pound at each. <laughs> yeah. More really for a replacement case. Mm. But, yeah, 50p. These were 50p or free for a pound. Slightly annoyed with this. The Wii games were much better value. Uh, I took a punt, basically, because I saw that that was worth a little bit and then just grabbed a couple of other ones. This is £3 at CX and they give you 20p. Slightly irritating. <laughs> so I'll just keep that and hope it goes up in price or I'll use the case for something as I don't have any PS4 cases. And then Wii games... Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. They're complete. Everything's in really good condition today. Yeah. Guitar Hero 3, Lens of Rock. They're complete with... Ooh, we even get the stickers. Ooh. I want some stickers. They're possibly... <laughs> you get two. Yeah. You get, like... Okay. Someone obviously had the guitar. This is a not-for-resale one, so... Yeah, someone obviously had the guitar. Don't know if they're actually worth anything or not. <laughs> and Guitar Hero World Tour. If you can hear the noise in the background, that is our cat burying her poo. Yeah. Or pee, possibly. Who knows? Uh, basically, all three Wii games were £1.60 each at CEX. I can get £1.60 each at CEX. So, for if you say they were three for a pound and we ignore that, that's... I forgot how to maths. Yeah, don't look at me. £4.80 for a quid. Getting slightly better value. Secret Service. I have played this. If I remember correctly, it was atrocious. Made by Activision, but it was like some really budget crap. This was two pounds, but CEX sold it for twelve. Fucking okay, hell! You can get eight pound for it. Lots of random three hundred and sixty games were shot up, I think, because the store, the the live store is closing. Yeah. Same goes for this Quake Four. I am. This is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pound. This was a pound, basically. You said all the DVDs and games were a pound. This is, like, immaculate. Mm. I don't think this has ever been played. This li Look, that is still sealed. The bonus disc that had Quake 2, that back in the day would have been a very good thing, because you played Quake 2 on the 360. Mm. Or on your Xbox. Now it is on normal Xbox One, but this is literally sealed. Like, cheapest for the whole complete thing, as far as I could see on eBay. Even the, sorry, even the disc looks... It's completely unused. Yeah. Uh... There's a fiver at CEX. I get three quid for spending a pound. The cheapest complete one like this on eBay was like 18 quid. So, A, people who complain CEX are rip off. You're wrong. But, like, I might... I don't, I, don't, I don't like the hassle of eBay, but it seems silly to yeah. to not when it's that beautiful and complete. I might just put the loose disc, because that's clearly no one there. Took a punt as I don't collect steelbooks anymore, but I do like these. The greatest ever ones. We both thought I didn't have this, but well, wasn't sure. No, we took like t almost ten minutes. Yeah, it took ages to decide. It was from the same store as that, but about an hour later. Yeah. And he said fifty p. It is missing two of them. Yeah. Uh, I have got it. But the cheapest on eBay was like twelve, so that will probably just end up on eBay. Yeah. Miss, it's missing Casino and Donny Brasco. So, in my opinion, the worst two. Well, I haven't seen Casino, and yeah, yeah. it's not that Donny Brasco is bad. The other three are just much better. Wentworth Prison. Don't know what this is. Season 6. Brand new. 
was a quid, I can get four pounds at CEX. Yeah. In, they were a pound each, unless they're a box set. This isn't a box set, according to them. Uh, it's a single DVD case. That's it's not a box yeah. set. Yeah, this would have been a box set. H2O, plot, plot slick, Merjungfrau. <laughs> Just said water. <laughs> yeah, you weirdly got an import of H2O from a charity shop a year or two ago or something. Yeah. This is a different import. German, we think. I yeah, assume. it's German. Yeah, Deutsch slash English. This was a pound from a store that's normally a bit more expensive than this. There are none on eBay. No. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that will probably be on the eBay. The, the, Please the, speak the, the. quietly, slow, slowly. Good. Yeah. Uh, this was a brilliant bit of haggling on my part, I think. <laughs> uh, 50p each, he said. I grabbed Requiem for a Dream. Which, weirdly, we've been talking a lot about recently yeah. and saw on a thing with Marlon Wayans. Uh, neither, I've never seen it. No, I've never seen it. I know the double anal... I've, yeah, I've seen that scene. The, that bit. <laughs> uh, I love how Marlon Wayans described Jared Leto as a, was it a fucking a, pretty man or something. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah this was 50p. Also, an Adjustment Bureau still book. A few years ago, I'd have been very pleased with this. I don't really care about normal still books anymore. It is complete with all three discs. Ooh. They were 50p each, picked them up, and he went, take another one. He's done, this guy's they've been there before, and I think because he'd seen us a few times, yeah. he just went, take another one. So I was like, okay, and I grabbed Watchmen Director's Cut. Exactly. This is actually worth more than the still book of the adjustment. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love Watchmen. Probably the, possibly the best comic book film ever. Yeah. It's a bit too long on the Director's Cut one, as that's the only one you've seen. <laughs> but, yeah. Eh. And then this stall, we went back to twice. Yes. <laughs> uh, the DVDs were 50p or three for a pound, again. Uh, we, they're in sort of the wrong order, but basically, High Spirits, you can get four pounds for. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like, I'd, I'd heard of it, but it just sort of, that looks like a bit of a funny. It was. Dirk Gently. No idea. No idea. But again, it was one I saw and thought that, I'd never, I, uh, yeah. And I just sort of ignored it. And then you mentioned it. And then I looked it up and it was worth £4 at CEX. Don't know what this is. Oh, I, I've heard of it. I thought it was the Ricky Gervais thing. I think that's called Afterlife as well. Yeah. Uh, £1.20, I think this is. You get at CEX. Yeah. This a was a bit annoying. Yes. I looked it up after we'd been... Like I said, we bought three for a pound. We went away. I looked up something else i think it was high that high spirits yeah. i thought like, you can get four pound for that so we went back and then found a few more which is when we got that one we went away again and i thought some girl, some music dvds are worth money as we've got a couple more here uh it said this was worth four quid i thought oh we'll get that it's only the version that comes with a cd yeah shocking this does not have the cd oh well it was 50p it's got a it's got a booklet. <laughs> we got some pictures. We got some pictures of of of, of, of girls allowed. Yeah. Ten years of ten fifteen years ago, I'd have been very happy with that. <laughs> Destiny's Child. No. Twenty twenty years ago, I'd have been happy with this. Uh, very the opposite opposite ends of pop music. Girls allowed. Destiny's Child. Celine Dion. Word. They also had a um, Pussycat Dolls one. They had a lot of Pussycat Dolls ones. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but it was like. What they were like one eighty one one twenty something like that I see yeah. basically for these ones they were the first few we got were the ones that were worth the less the least yeah and just a random one for a horror collection this film was a damn lie Guardians of the Tomb <laughs> uh you can you I mean there's a spider there this is a spider film yeah. this is a proper spider horror film when we watched it on the um you, the, the poster is like yeah. it this like you know you don't. The uh, the little uh, bit that it puts up about what the film is and whatnot, it didn't say anywhere that it was a horror, no. that there were spiders Well, no, involved. we knew it was a horror. We didn't yeah. know it was a spider horror. I it was going to be freaking spiders. Was it like a low-budget... I was not prepared. Yeah, thing. Like, ooh, Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's quite good. Watch that. And then, randomly, I've... if you've seen some of our videos, we like Twice. Yeah. Which is a K-pop band. Uh... I've got, we've never found stuff. That, no. I literally went on the way there. I thought we would have found some K-pop twice mm. stuff at a car boot by now. Um, and I was like, I'm surprised we never have. I bet, though, if we ever do, they'd be really overpriced, like they had the albums for a tenner. Yeah. 
second or third stall we got into was a lady with a load of twice stuff who wanted ten pounds for some albums yeah. and literally guessed bang on ten pounds for some albums five pounds for some large posters i mean they, they look like the legit posters yeah. that if you know anything about K, like these are expensive yeah, these K-Pop albums stuff is not cheap but she taped them to the table for a start i mean i wouldn't pay five pound for a poster you've gone vintage yeah. you'll get them cheaper than that but yeah. these were 50p I'm guessing these aren't a legit thing, but they're very nice quality. Yeah. And we got my favourite, Jungyun, and the wrong favourite, Momo. Oh, my favourite, Momo. <laughs> they also had like two others, Dayon and Neon. Yeah. Uh, they also wanted a pound or three pound for cards, which I think were the AliExpress cards. Yeah. But because if they were legit, I'm guessing they wouldn't have had a couple of hundred yeah. in a binder. <laughs> but yeah, we're very happy. We've yeah. got some twice stuff finally at a car boot. And it's our favourites. Yeah. We've literally just got back from this car boot, so I haven't bothered to actually count properly or anything. But if my brain works correctly, which it rarely does, uh, and, and it, although they're not going to, they're not one of them. I think it was basically £54 I could get in a voucher for this lot. Uh, let's see if I can quickly work out how much I spent. <laughs> one, three, four. I'm only counting the ones that I paid for, like, to sell for. Five, six, seven, eight. So eight, fifty-four for spending eight. It's not I, bad. I don't think that's too bad. That's <laughs> again, if I can maths in my head, eight, eight, so sixty-four, eight, seven, six, seven. about six and a half to seven times to nearly seven times. Hmm. I, I think that's pretty good. And that is probably worth quite a bit yeah. on eBay. Let's see what happens to that. Yeah, there's a few like decent eBays. Yeah, some actual decent stuff. Yeah. For the first, uh, no. we expect another car boot video in about a month when yeah. it decides to not rain again. <laughs> as it looked like it was going to on the way home. Yeah. Anyway, like and subscribe and all that malarkey. Yeah. Au revoir, people. Goodbye.